FBI people, ako pong muli si Thea and welcome sa VGK. In today's video, ang ating topic ay ang computer memory o yung computer data storage. And yan ay ang hard drive, RAM, flash drive, and SD card or secure digital card. And this will be our uh, basic computer lesson, part 4 na po tayo. Kung maglalagay tayo ng uh, tubig sa isang cup, ang magiging sukat nito ay 250 ml. So, ito yung typically uh, measurement ng isang basong tubig. Now, gaano naman kalaki ang sukat ng ating mga files kapag itinatago natin siya sa computer or sa mga computer uh, memory or storage device. Okay, so the smallest unit of computer memory is bit. And 8 bits is equal to 1 byte. Now, before we proceed, pag-aralan muna natin ang affixes. Okay? Ang affixes means to attach something to something else. So, mag-review muna tayo ng konting English. Okay, and my two types of affixes. Yan ay ang prefix and suffix. Okay, ang prefix and suffix word are added to the word to alter its meaning. Para ibahin ang kanyang meaning. Prefix is added to the beginning of the of the word and suffix is added to the last of word. So for example, ang prefix na an, ang ibig sabihin is not. So if you add it to the word happy, it will become unhappy, meaning you are not happy. Ang example naman ng suffix ay ang full, meaning ng full ay full of. So if you are going to add the full to the word uh, power, it will become powerful. Say for example, meron akong doc, uh, document, ang laman ng aking document ay dalawang characters or two letters only. In computer memory, one letter is equal to one byte. So the word Philippines is equal to 11 bytes. This is the standard size. If you make it uh, on word, uh, the size will be a kilobytes. But if you're going to uh, type the word Philippines or any letter using the uh, plain text document, ang nagiging size talaga niya is one letter is equal to one byte. So, meron akong example dito. Panoorin natin ito. And kailangan nyo itong panoorin ng landscape kasi uh, kinuhanan ko ito sa computer para makita nyo siya. So, dito ipapakita ko sa inyo kung ilang bytes ang isang letter. So, mag-right click ako sa desktop. Click New. Plain uh, text document or yung text document. Ayan. So, i-open ko muna siya to show you na wala siyang laman. Ayan. So, wala ang nakasulat sa kanya. And then, I will close it. And then, right click. Go down to properties. Ayan. Ang kanyang size is 0 bytes kasi wala pang laman. So, i-close natin yan. And then, we'll, we'll open again the text document. And then, this time, I'm going to type the word Philippines. Okay, so after typing uh, Philippines, I will save it and close it and check again the properties. To show you kung ilan yung sukat. Okay, save. Close again the window. Okay, right click sa text document. Go down to properties. And that's it. The size is 11 bytes. So, I will close it again. And reopen the document. And then, uh, I will remove some of the letters. Iiwan ko lang yung word na Philip. Okay, so save again. And then I will close the window again. And then right click ulit sa text document. Go down to properties again. And to show you the size is now 6 bytes. So, ganoon ang pag-check 
ng kung ilang uh, ikong ilan ang sukat ng uh, letters uh, sa bytes. Uh, Ito, that is for the word Philippines. But how about if I have a book? Paano ang magiging sukat nito? Say for example, the book has 500,000 characters. So 500,000 times one letter is it's is equal to one byte. So 500,000 bytes. Uh, this is only for one book. Now, how about if I have a thousand books to be stored in the computer? Or, bibili ka ng SD card, tatanungin ka ng uh, tindera sa uh, shop. Uh, Ma'am, sir, ano pong uh, memory capacity ang gusto nyo uh, ng SD card? Uh, so, um, kung ang sasabihin mo or iisipin mo is yung uh, ang isang book ay naglalaman ng 500,000 characters, So, mahihirapan kang mag-compute. So, uh, 1,000 books, eh, bigyan mo ako ng 500 million bytes. So, dyan na ngayon papasok ang System International Unit na mga prefixes. Ang, uh, yan ay ang mga kilo, uh, meaning thousand, mega means million, giga means billion, and tera means trillion. So, hanggang dyan lang muna tayo sa tera. And yung kilo is, yan yung din yung ginagamit sa mga kilograms. Kaya kapag binibili kayo ng uh, bigas, instead of saying 1,000 grams, is 1 kilo na lang. So, yun, yun, yun din yung uh, prefix na ginagamit nila uh, para mapadali ang uh, pagsukat ng uh, pagkilo ng ating mga uh, bigas o iba pang pagkain sa palengke. <coughs> so, ang purpose ng prefixes na ito ay para padiliin ang pagkocompute ng computer memory. So, if 1 byte is 8 bits, ang 1,024 bytes is 1 kilobytes. And then, yung 1,024 kilobytes is 1 megabyte. And then, yung 1,024 megabytes is 1 gigabyte. And then, yung 1,024 gigabytes is 1 terabyte. So, napakadaming uh, files na pwede nyo ilagay kapag ganyan na kalalaki ang inyong computer memory. It's either yung inyong hard drive and then yung... Um, flash drive or SD card. Yung one minute of song typically is one megabyte depending on beat rate. And then yung one minute MP4 video roughly measures about 150 megabytes depending on the resolutions. And HD photo is usually three megabytes. Now, an image weighs uh, far more than letters because uh, of a pixel. So, later on, it will discuss natin yung about naman sa pixels. So, I hope meron na kayong idea about the size of the file if we store it on the computer. So, ganito din yung ginagamit sa mga mobile phones and iba pang computer memory devices. So, ang computer memory unit na ito ay siya din ginagamit ng internet. Or, uh, say for example, meron akong globe. Uh, magre-register ako sa Globe uh, sa Go90 so ang Go90 uh, will be a 8 gigabytes of inter internet usage uh, good for 7 days so yung 8 gigabytes na yun say for example, nag-upload ako ng video ko sa YouTube, ang size ng aking video is 1 gigabyte ang magbabawas sa aking uh, data is 1 gigabyte, so ang magiging remaining uh, Gigabyte ko ng data, it's gonna be 7 gigabytes. So thank you for watching and watch out for more of my videos.